This is Linda Crookes here. Welcome back to the Healthy Asian Cuisine channel. Today, let's make an easy one-pot Japanese soup. This warming and hearty soup make dinner enjoyable and nutritious for a healthy eating habit. Let's start with step 1. Preparing dried ingredients. To prepare soya beans, sort through the bean and remove any stones or spoiled soya beans. Rinse and cover them with cold water. Soak the beans for up to 8 hours or overnight. For the dried tofu stick, break the sticks into couple inch pieces. Then rehydrate for about 2 hours in 1 liter of boiling water or soak overnight with cold water. The dried shiitake mushroom. Rehydrate the mushrooms for about 2 hours or overnight in approximately 500 ml or 2 cups of boiling water. Thereafter, drain and rinse all the rehydrated ingredients and set them aside. Toward step 2, preparing the vegetables. To begin, peel the daikon, then slice it into a 1 cm or a half inch round disc. Similarly, peel the carrot and cut it into either a 1 cm or a half inch thick round circle. For the small red potatoes, leave the skin on and cut them into 1 cm or a half inch thick pieces like the daikon and carrot. For the rehydrated shiitake mushrooms, cut the hard stem away as shown. Then you can either keep the size of the mushrooms as it is or cut them into smaller bite-sized pieces. Now in step 3, cooking the soup, take a large heavy bottom pot, add the soaked soya beans, the tofu skin, the carrot, the daikon, the rehydrated shiitake mushrooms, potatoes, and the soup stock. We need 1.5 liter of vegetable stock, preferably low sodium or reduced salt vegetable stock to submerge all the vegetables for the soup. Bring the soup to a boil, then reduce the heat to low and simmer. Power the pot with a lid and let it cook for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes of cooking, give the soup a stir and add 3 tablespoons of suyu or light soya sauce, 3 tablespoons of sake, and 1 tablespoon of sugar. Give the soup another stir and cover the pot to allow the soup to simmer for another 15 to 30 minutes until the beans and vegetables are soft. Once the soup is cooked, turn off the heat and add a tablespoon of mirin, then stir to incorporate the mirin into the soup. Now your cooking is done. Serve the soup hot with rice or just enjoy the soup as a main course. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click that little bell. If you try this recipe and you love it, tag me on social media. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy cooking.